Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today I want to show you guys a new way to load images very, very fast into our anime app. Now, the reason that I want to show you guys this, it'll be very clear. Um, if I were to go back into the app, I have opened up Cowboy Bebop already. So let's say if we go into this anime, Cowboy Bebop, this thingy right here. If we were to scroll through all these anime, it is going to load. Oh, that's a very short list. Let's go back to Cowboy Bebop. So if I were to scroll through this, this is going to be loading very, very slowly. We don't want this little issue to happen right here. We want these images to load quickly and receive it from the cache immediately. And that's where a library called React Native Fast Image comes in. This allows us to be able to load a ton of images very, very fast, cache them, prioritize how fast they load. They have GIF supporting, border radius, and a whole lot of cool stuff. And it's very simple to implement. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to install the actual dependency itself. So I'm going to do npm i react-native-fast-image and let it work its magic. All right, so the next thing we need to do is link our iOS app to this dependency. And the way that we're going to do that is just do um, pod install. Oops, we have to go into the iOS first. So cd iOS and then just do a pod install. There we go. All right, so the way this is going to work is very, very simple. I've opened up our anime list.js file, and what we're going to do is we're going to replace our image background with something called fast image. So if I were to select both of these, oops, select both of them, and I just do fast image, and we import it from React Native Fast Image like so, we need to give it a couple of properties. So we've already given it the property um, source is equal to URI, and we're giving it the image URL. We can also define other things as well. So let's say we wanted to give it headers. We can give that as well, but we don't have any headers to give since it's a public API. Uh, we can give it something called priority. This is basically how fast are we wanting the image to load. So let's say we want to do fast image dot um, priority dot high. This will use more of your processing power for the phone, but it will load the images a lot faster. And so now if we scroll through our anime list, we've already cached the information initially uh, on our initial load, and now the image will load a lot faster. So now let's go ahead and do the anime recommendations list as well. So if I open up our selected anime, anime recommendations file right here, let's go ahead and replace this image background with fast image. In the source, we give it the URI, and of course, uh, we're gonna give it the priority. Same thing, fast image dot priority dot high. Now, initially, this won't work uh, properly the first time. Um, let's say this user has never used this app before, and they just go on Cowboy Bebop. It'll be laggy the first time. Uh, but the second time they go through it, it'll be a lot faster. So if we were to cache all the images, go through the entire list, go back and we go right back into it, we should see, oops, we should see it loading a lot faster. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to scroll through as fast as I can. But you can see that is a lot faster. And the way that we can also check that this is being cached is by going to the actual app's uh, information, and we can see from there. And so just to make sure that we do have that working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the app and click on App Info by holding onto the app icon. And then we're going to go into Storage and Cache, clear the storage, and it'll automatically clear the cache as well. Then we're going to go ahead and reopen it. And we're going to compare two different numbers. Uh, so let's say I were to go on a Cowboy Bebop right now. Uh, not all the information is loaded at the end. But if I go right back into the app info, we see we have 116 megabits of cache uh, stored. And if we were to scroll through the entire list, it's a huge list, dude. And then we go back into the app info, we should see that it increased as well. So the images are uncached, and then they'll be loaded even faster the second time. And so just to make sure it's all working on iOS as well, I open up the emulator, and I'm going to just scroll through it a little bit. I'm trying to scroll through as fast as I can. For some reason, this is very slow. And I'm going to go to the very top and go to Cowboy Bebop. And I'm just going to scroll through this as fast as I can. For some reason, it's very, very slow. I'm going to assume that is working. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now if I trying to scroll through as fast as I can. But we can see it's obviously working and it's also caching here as well. 
that's pretty much all you really need to know about fast image, uh, React Native fast image. If you want to check out the docs for other props that you can access, such as preloading, um, it's all in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.